Monkey butt. I'm beyond frustrated right now. So very beyond frustrated. <sighs> so, 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 what, what do we do now? What do we, what do, ah, oh, hello everybody. Well, I learned my lesson the hard way. Robin Hood effing sucks. I was only able to purchase 14 call options. Uh, couldn't get any, any, uh, uh, puts. And Robin Hood let me use the rest of my money. So, here I sit. Wishing ill will upon Vlad and everyone else. Absolutely just... Uh. Okay, well, uh, the earnings has not appeared yet. Still waiting on that to happen, right? Monkey, get up there. Come on. No, don't cut up on me. No, up here. Come on. Come on. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, just... <sighs> anyway, we're doing Charity Tuesday. So regardless of Houston's mounting problems everywhere, just... <sighs> getting about one... 20th the number of options I had planned on buying and uh, So but we're raising money for the Humane Society. So there we go monkey butt is a Humane Society like monkey butt get up here Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now I want you up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show everybody What a wonderful little Humane Society dog you are. Come on. Yeah, you're a wonderful little Humane Society dog. Yes, you are You were rescued from Hawaii. They found you in the jungle and then they put you on Alaska Airlines flight because Alaska Airlines will fly the puppy dogs to non-kill shelters all over North America so they can be adopted. Yes. And they get a huge tax break. And then the monkey butt gets to come live with me, right? And go for long walks and play in the yard and chase bunnies and eat coyotes. Right? Right? Yeah. Is that what we got? Is that what we get the Humane Society does for you? Yeah. So... Please donate to our charity today, to the Humane Society. And, uh, oh, there's one thing I forgot to do is, is open up so I can see what the, what do we call it? How much, how much we raised? Okay, so I got to go there. I got to click on this. I have to go to my channel. Yes, that's what we're doing. And we're going to click on that guy. We're going to make sure the volume doesn't pop up and we'll freeze that. Frozen. Okay. We've raised 465 bucks. Um, I, because of my problems, I don't know if I got everybody's names in here for the drawings. Um, yeah, I've totally missed a huge chunk of the chat. So left hand wave, Kevin Rayonin. Kevin Rayonin. Um, yeah. Okay. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Another anonymous. And Peachy Sunday. Peachy Sunday. <clears throat> it was raining last night and my allergies did so well and then it stopped raining and then I don't do so well anymore. Poor taste in porn. Boom. Rubber hurt. Robert Hurt. Uh, ooh, Robert Hurt. And then we got Bex with some Canuck money. And another Anonymous. And KYP. Fantastic. Okay. Um, if you did donate before, because the, the most, the earliest one I have is Cameron Mirza. Uh, if you donated before Cameron Mirza in the chat, please, by all means, send me, tell me, so I can put you on the list. Because every dollar you donate is it, it goes towards uh, a raffle ticket for a twenty, a fifty cent wish item, and um, so yeah. Uh, GameStop, oh shit, GameStop just plummeted a little bit here. Has quarter four come out yet? Uh, refresh. Still no earnings yet for quarter four posted. So I don't know what they're plummeting on. Um, 
Last month, the, the two items we raffled off were a, a gimbal for a, a fancy GoPro gimbal and a wireless lavalier microphones so you can like make your own movies. Uh, so that's fantastic, right? I just lost my pen. Where's my pen? Oh, there it is. So that's Leo B, not Low B. Leo B. Boom. Uh, so what we're going to do is if we reach our goal, thousand dollars, I do a raffle ticket. If we go beyond our goal to like 1500 bucks, I'll do a second raffle and we get to $2,000. I'll do a third raffle. And that's, that's how we'll keep you guys interested in wanting to donate more to the American Humane Society so that bone chewing creatures like this little beast over here, give me the side eye, uh, can be adopted and hugged and loved and, uh, beg for treats and, chase bunnies and do all the things that those creatures do. So there we go. All right, it dropped. Uh, oh, it's plummeting quite a bit now. Come on, refresh. I don't see quarter four being posted on the uh, ye old page yet. Come on. Oh my gosh. Where are you? Where are, you? Where are you? There you go. So I've not seen the quarter four postings yet. Keep refreshing. Has not arrived. Hmm. <clears throat> but it, we had a big old drop. Only 2%, but like, whoop. I had one, one go there. So here we sit, twiddling thumbs and hoping. Uh, Robin Hood completely destroyed my dreams of, of getting a pile of money. The guy was not very helpful. I deposited cash on Thursday and he was like, well, how's it settled yet? I'm like, but it shows on my account that it's settled. It's like, but it hasn't settled yet. I'm like, and I pay so that I can use that money now. Like, what's the point of me paying for my membership if I can't do that? Oh, you know, it's volatile. I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you already took the money out of my account. It's gone. And well, how's it settled yet? Like you took the money out of my account. It's gone. It's been gone for like five days. Why can't I use it? Well, you only have like $900 settled. Like I pay money for the instant deposit. <sighs> so, goodness gracious. Just, just, uh, rah, rah. So, well, looks like I should have gotten those puts at least. But I didn't get the puts because I couldn't get the puts. Uh, that's a quite a drop for it to do. Now it's at twelve seventy eight, and there's still no earnings report posted. Who? Oh, there it is. Okay, earnings release finally up. Okay, that sales one point seven nine four billion the quarter compared to two point six billion your your previous selling general expenses of three fifty nine. An income was 63 million fourth quarter compared to 48 million prior year's fourth quarter. So it's up. Uh, net sales. Do, 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 do. That's not as big a margin as I was hoping for, that's for sure. Okay. So. The income was 6.7 million. So they, they made profit for the year. Not big, only 6.7 million profit for the year. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. So they made profit and the stock price gets absolutely hammered. Cool. That's really, really cool, man. Really, really cool. Awesome. Sweet. <sighs> okay. So. On the good news of they made profit, what's the earnings per share? What does that popped up? And then no one done the math on that. So 64 million on the quarter, 63 million on the quarter. Where's my calculator? Where's my calculator? Calculator. Put you over in the calculator window. Here we go. Okay. So we got 300 million shares. Divided by, oops, I got 60 million. 
63 million, 63 million, 100,000 divided by 300 million shares. I can't remember the exact number of shares, but somewhere in there. And uh, what just happened? Oh, because I did all my math wrong. That's why. 63100000 divided by 300 million. And 21 cents per share. So they're, so they missed their estimate of 25. <sighs> That's why it's, it's now floundering and bouncing around again, but they're profitable. They're profitable for the year. Or should be good news, but they missed their earnings estimate by four cents. Cool. Rad. Yay, monkey. Woo. Woo, monkey. Well, because I wasn't able to get any puts, I was able to benefit from that giant $3 drop. <sighs> so, probably sucks, sucks butt. <laughs> but at least we're raising money for charity. So we got that going for us, right? So, so, yay, charity. <laughs> we're $535 towards our, our goal. Um, because I help the monkey butts of the world. Come here, monkey butt. At least come here and be a happy dog. Yeah, you're so happy. You're so happy. You know, you should get you should get treats right off the bat to help calm Houston's anger. And uh, yeah, how about just how about just one of these? Because you just look so happy when you do that. Yum. Yeah, one more. One more. What about a little guy? One more little guy. Come here. Come on. Yum. All right. Okay. So, five hundred thirty-five dollars, a thousand dollars, or towards towards our goal. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> anyway, um. Oh, for Christ's sakes! What is? Sorry, things are trying to install in the background, and my computer is just. <clears throat> okay, so might as well go to the questions, or actually, you know what we can do? Oh, I forgot to I forgot to download. Sorry, Alexander K. I forgot to out download the uh, new Charity Tuesday thing. I was so busy beating my head against a wall trying to get my stuff done here. Uh, where is it? Where? There, there it is. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay. Boom. Shakalaka. <sighs> okay. Well. Hey, charity. <laughs> All right. So, um I'm stuck. I, I don't see any chats earlier than 12:33 p.m. because I had to reboot my computer and just pull my hair out and everything. Uh, Drew calls on GME and no audio. Well, failure on both. <laughs> Wish good fortune guineas come. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, Yurfka, a longtime lurker, first time live donator. Uh, kids home sick from school today, so I get to catch a rare live show. Got my $18 calls. Thanks for your education, Houston. Let's go. Well, wah, 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 wah. Hope people got this, were able to split and get the puts as well, because those are what paid off. And now I am turning into Max Headroom. This whole day is just going gangbusters, right, folks? Absolutely just... <sighs> Hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What in the world? Come on. Give me, give me some pixels, man. Alex Bishop, sir, buy a new computer. I would have loved to, but Robin Hood wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me do my splitter, you know, on my play. So, <sighs> gar. XXX, any updates on MMAT? I have no updates. George, 
did post something on Twitter. Someone sent me a link to the other day where he's he's asking Finra to reveal his emails about uh, MMTLP, uh, make them public. So, I mean, I'm sure George could make this public. Be like, hey, here's these emails. But um, that's I've heard nothing else that's happening on that regard. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do to do, do. Okay. People are asking the report came out. Report just came out. So there we go. Um, it wouldn't be Houston a problem if there wasn't technical dif technical difficulties. Oh my goodness! Just uh, today is nothing but frustrating difficulties and screaming and yelling at the Robin Hood guy and just blank. Yeah. So. Uh, Tom R, not that I am in a hurry. I'm just German and don't approve of this delay. <laughs> Make the trains run on time. Dang it. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Like button for Houston. Nothing. Nothing's going well. So no like buttons today. Okay. Uh, Bill coin, 10 million volume price did not move today. Pretty much. We, uh, what are we down to 1280 after hours? <whistles> looks like, looks like the hedge funds were loving today. What was the volume? 15 K 51 K 130 K right at close. Hmm. Herm. Hmm. Hmm. Corporate Walnut. The problem is you trust Robinhood. I know. I, 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 the problem is, is that I trusted that I would get the service that I pay for, and they didn't do that. So I was not able to do my thing. Very frustrating. Very, 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 very frustrating. I'm so... I am the king frustrated right now. But at least I have a kitty cat pen... And a, li a going list to do a drawing to raise money for Humane Society because it's Charity Tuesday. So we may as well be charitable, right? Okay. I'm like, I'm totally off my rocker. I've, I'm dying from allergies. <laughs> Frustrated as hell. Computer had to reboot. I'm half an hour late to my own show. <sighs> okay. So. Um, tomorrow we'll have a beer on good earnings and heavy beer on dividend announcement fingers crossed we got neither today we got absolutely just hammered into the ground and that's where they like to keep us here's mammy he sent through his phone his computer folks oh my god <laughs> Okay. Um, Passing Cloud Houston. Frequently go along on calls puts when you are finally start selling contracts and join the Theta gang. <sighs> probably should. Probably should just sell contracts. Um, and there's a bunch of people begging for me to come on because my show is... My, my computer took like half an hour to reboot. It took forever. All right. Wrong date of a problem. Seriously. Uh, Bojangles, because we give single dollar super chats while PP gets the fat ones. <laughs> well, you know, it's, I'm also begging for charity here. So, Walt the man in the middle throws in five bucks. Walt the man in middle. Boom. Boom. Okay, we're at 540. We're 54% of the way towards our goal for Charity Tuesday. Hopefully my voice can last long enough for us to get to our thousand. That'd be wonderful. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay. 
get Shemin in to buy, buy some calls. Houston, well, good thing you didn't buy me any calls because those things went down the drain. Urgh. Okay. Uh, passing Cloud, Houston, uh, I'm sure Houston started streaming minutes ago. We're just waiting for the Comcast to send the packets. <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, put credit spreads and call debit spreads for me. I I wanted to have the spreads and Robin Hood wouldn't let me buy anything. <sighs> I mean, if I had, I was planning on buying 20 puts if I had 20 puts drop three bucks uh, I would have made six grand off of that that would have been nice but they wouldn't let me <sighs> okay well uh Emtra 300,000 shares sounds very few in this context stupid apes would like to like crazy on good earnings call even more on dividend and we got neither Four million shares traded in the last 10 minutes. By the way, I'm watching Thinkorswim. Koski 406, 10 million volume with no real gain. Five million selling their part or routing all buys through off exchange. Probably. Yurvka. Ironic the S&P and NASDAQ have started taking in the last 30 minutes. Negative beta? That's interesting. I have not looked at that yet. Um, to spy? It did tank. What the heck? I mean, it went down, not tanking, but went down like $3. <laughs> but red day, red day for the old spy. There's bad bank news happening. Uh, it sounds like the Federal Reserve kind of doesn't have any cash at the moment. And that uh, the reverse repo is absolutely in the in the bottom uh plus i think defaults on commercial real estate is now at six percent which is really high that's a lot that's a large percentage to be defaulting especially on something that is earning two percent interest so if six percent of your commercial loans are defaulting that means every bank is losing money at this point so uh the bad news i think will keep coming and coming and coming and coming um, but bad news all around as we all get today. Okay. All right. We're at, we're at the 1 PM part in the chat. Oh, I got two more anonymouses. Oh, Daniel, Daniel bachelor. There we go. Sorry. I need to pay attention to my my uh stephanie l fantastic uh daniel bachelor daniel bachelor and anonymous and anonymous you got two anonymouses anonymouses okay we're at five five hundred seventy six dollars for charity excellent so we have $424 to go to meet our $1,000 goal for the Humane Society for Monkey Butts, right? Right? Look at that happy monkey butt. Look at her. Look at her. You were in the jungle, and then you were in a cage, and now you're on an ottoman. Isn't that great? And your life is no different. You're exactly the same at all times, right? <gasps> you happy little boober. You happy little boober. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, is there more treats involved? What am I? What am I? What am I doing here? Okay. Uh, it's a factor. It's obvious we have angered the Houston, and I must figure out how to atone for our transgressions. I have angered the technical gods, and that's <laughs> Louis. What's EPS? What's the EPS? What's the EPS? What's the EPS? Twenty-one cents. They missed. They missed. Their earnings by four cents, five cents, four cents. Uh, 
Alright. Kiss that sweet dog. Look at that. Yeah. Koski, 406, went to the gym, drank coffee, first time in a while, and excited. Well, wah, 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 wah. Houston has no hedge. I didn't get my hedge. I, I didn't get my hedge. I didn't get it. And that is the most frustrating part of this entire thing, is I didn't get my hedge. I would have made all my money back. I would have got like, every penny back if I had been able to make my hedge. Uh, Dr. G78. And... Boom, that puts us over 600, or 626 right now. $374 to go until we have ourselves a funded charity Tuesday. Okay. Uh, raw. I had a chocolate muffin right before this and I just inhaled it and now I'm feeling the after effects. Dear Ashley America's here. Uh, Chris Taylor's here, Jethro's here. KYP's here. Robert Hood, Hurt, at least let's have a good Charity Tuesday. We, we can always have a good Charity Tuesday. We can always make all the little monkey butts of the world. Like, if anything, and, and if I lived closer to our, our local Humane Society, I would do this. I would volunteer at the Humane Society if I could. But it's like a 40-minute drive away. It doesn't make it really that easy for me to do. Uh, but if you have the chance, go hang out. Pet the animals. Scratch them on their ears. Um... You can do that to me inside. You can just show up and be like, hey, I'm going to go look at the animals. Look at these little kittens. Look at these dogs. And they're always so happy to see you. They're like, oh my gosh, someone's paying attention to me. This is wonderful. And you get the little warm and fuzzies. And then you end up being like, all right, I'll get one of these. And then you get two of them and you get three of them. And then your house is full of animals. And uh, life is good, right? I mean, look, look at this thing in the corner. Look at that, look at that thing right, 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 right there in the corner, just staring at the back of my head. A little curled up little goofball. Here we go. We can do. Look at this. Look at this thing, huh? Look at her. <gasps> just look at her. Yeah. She's just a little booger. Yeah. Oh, you happy little old lady. Yep. Yeah. Are you a good dog? Oh, that's a good yawn right there. Look at that. That's a good monkey yawn. Okay. So by all means, if you can't donate today. Help out by volunteering at local humane society or equivalent uh, uh, shelter. Um, the non-kill shelter is the way to go. Uh, when I got monkey butt, I, I was looking for a dog, and uh, and pretty much everything was like a pit bull or a chihuahua, and I really wasn't interested in either a pit bull or a chihuahua. And then this little booger showed up on their website, and I was like, <gasps> burn, burn. I drove out there, and I picked up the monkey butt, and life's been good ever since, right? It'll be eight years, eight years with the monkey butt on June 12th. That'll be our eighth year adoptiversary. Right? Yeah. Oh, eight years. Do you even know life before that? Huh? Living in the jungle by yourself, eating bugs and fruit. Eating bugs and fruit. Eating bugs and fruit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Oh, you gotta chop on me. You gotta chop on me. You gotta chop on me. Is it because I'm wearing a shirt with tigers on it? Huh? Tigers? Oh, chickens. I think I have tigers and chickens on this shirt. <laughs> okay. Enough of that monkey. I know it's your day. It's Humane Society Day. And that's my monkey just gets played with. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, and, and, and I forgot to point out all the, the various, uh, uh, we got all sorts of things. I don't know what any of this stuff is. I numbered all of them, so they have numbers, uh, like 1 through 19, I think. We gave away two last week. I have a feeling that this might be a drone or something. Um, this feels like clothing of some kind. I don't know what the little guys are. I have no idea what this is. There's, uh, this one's really big and heavy. I don't know what you are, but it's something. Um, I don't know, something from China. I have no idea. These are all things I bought during during the pandemic. 
from Wish for 50 cents. And I've never opened them. And so, so part of the rule is, and this, this is how, uh, this is how we do it, is, uh, roll forward, is I, I draw, I, I make the raffle. I put your names in the random name generator. I do the raffle. Uh, I pull a name, right? I've got the little basket here with all the numbers of of, of the, the, oh shit, lost a number, um, of the prizes. You must message me with your mailing address or shipping address, and then we unbox it on the show. I will not unbox it until I get a shipping address because that could be like, a drone or it could be a dish towel. I have no idea <laughs> what it's going to be. And I want to make sure that you can't be like, oh, I don't, I don't want that because you're getting it. Whatever it is, you're getting it. Whether it's good or bad, uh, you're getting that thing. And Michael Hate jumped in here with a big one. Michael Hate. Oops, that's a Y in there. Hate. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Hate, hate, how do you pronounce your name? It's just like Michael Hate. I went to school with a girl whose last name was Hate, but it was spelled H A I T. That would be more metal if it was H A T E, but you know. <clears throat> okay. Um... Michael Forsh, out of money calls were at 456% implied volatility. Volatility. Dude, the volatility was insane. Absolutely bonkers. <sighs> Robert Hurt, how do I get one of those Lurker memberships? Well, somebody has to do a, a membership by a gifting thing. I'm not sure how it's done. I've never actually done it myself. Well, somebody's got to clickety clack on one of those membership thingies, and that's how you do it. Um, today's 26th, 27th is tomorrow. Okay, I have to remember I got to pay my water bill tomorrow. That's the thing I got to do. <clears throat> the electric bill, both of those. I got to pay both those tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Belgian whale done in 50. I got Belgian whale on here. Yeah, I got you, Belgian whale. I got you. It was you you've donated after Cameron Mirza. So if you donated before Cameron Mirza, send me a note about how much you donated and I'll get you on the list. So no new set of teeth for me. Oh bummer. Hope you, hopefully you guys were able to to get your your put hedges as well, so you got your money back. That's that was the goal, and I wish I could have gotten that because that would be nice. Yeah. So. Mm, mm. Terry Haugen just saw Robin Hood take a $3 billion loan for J.P. Morgan. I wonder how long Robin Hood had to wait before they're allowed to use that $3 billion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Robin Hood. J.P. Morgan says Robin Hood. I'm sorry, you can't use this in deposits. But it has an instant. It's been five days. <sighs> uh, KLDG got their puts. So that's good. Bill Coyne watched a talk show saying Jimmy will be $8 stock this year. You know, Kevin McCabe's always dipped for the rip. Well, I don't know if we'll get a rip anytime soon because it'll take a while for it to climb back up from from uh, this little low it's in. Oh, crap. Let's reset the whole chat. No, I can't. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Dana Bachelor donated again. Fantastic. Where did I lost my pen again? What? How do I miss lose my pen? Oh, problem is it's black and my desk is black. And then uh, Daniel Bachelor, where were you? 
I had you on here. Dana Bachelor. There we go. All right, we're at $746.254 to go until we meet our goal, and that's drawing number one. If we get to 1500 bucks, I will draw a second name. So that's that's your uh, your your motivation to get your crazy 50 cent wish item. Did, um, it, was, it was Stephanie and SJ who won last week, right? Or last month. Stephanie, did you, did, is the gimbal, does the gimbal work well? I saw you donating to this this week in here. Does it work? <laughs> I, it's been sitting in a box for four years. So hopefully it works great. Um, Mike Forrest, Houston working like me to 100. Yeah. <laughs> Belgian whales, 56k down the drain. I didn't get the chance to, to buy that stuff. So I had $900 down the drain on this one. I, I made, I made money off of my options play earlier, but I don't know what I, I'm going to have to yell at Robin Hood when I'm, when I center my chi and wait a day, and then I'll yell at Robin Hood. Uh, hold on, Z. I'm just buying shares at this point. That's what I'm doing. I, I bought shares. Um, that's where, you know, they lost a little bit, but I'll come back. Chris, our crazy red candle over not so bad news. Exactly. So it looks like they they must have waited for those two and a half million short shares that had to dump right at earnings. And that's why they drove it down the much. The fact, the fact the company posted a profit, like we're profitable. We did miss our earnings, but we're profitable. And, and, and the market's like, fuck you, you shall die. How dare you make a profit? If anything, it should have been flat. Like it should have been like, put everything, uh, it at max pain and just be flat. <laughs> Do bears watch you? Probably. <laughs> they go, ha, 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 ha. That's probably what they do. Tanner Batcher, about 13.5 uh, April 5th puts. My luck, it'll bounce back at the end of next week. Well, you can always sell them tomorrow morning for a profit. If it remains below that, where are we right now? We are at 1317, so you're still profitable on those. Uh, who knows what, who knows what it, where it will be when they open in the morning? Usually, like it does these big drops after hours and then it will climb up a little bit in the morning. Or if it does a big, big jump after hours, it will drop down a little bit in the, in the pre-market. It's kind of the pattern that it does. Ooh, that person in Wall Street Bets who took out a $20,000 loan for GME calls, owie. Yeah, don't borrow to do calls. That is a terrible idea. Don't, don't, don't borrow to do options. Um, that's a great way to owe so much money. I don't recommend that at all. Use, I, I only use cash. I don't trade margin. I just use cash for things. And if I were to borrow, it would be to get just, share so at least you know if the date comes you still have something so you'll owe less in the end so like if you, if you spent twenty thousand dollars on shares you'd have what like sixteen thousand dollars left so you owe four that's not so bad like that's not as bad as it could be um yeah don't borrow to do to do options don't take a mortgage on your house don't that's just that's just asking for the biggest lost porn posts and everyone going ever. Hold on, New Zealand analysts increased their predictions the other week. They would have been close if they didn't. Just wait for GME to buy back 100 million shares. There you go. False flag, Houston. Do they still have a call coming out where they can announce any merger acquisitions? They have not announced that there's a call, but when merger acquisitions are usually announced, they're usually announced 
like a week or so after earnings. So they do the earnings and then there's a few days and then they announce a merger acquisition. They don't announce the merger acquisitions before the earnings. So um, hopefully they do one. They've got $1.2 billion that they're spending on such a thing. They've mentioned it. They've made PR releases about how they're going to invest that money in something else and sort of become a holdings company as a result. So here we go. <sighs> G America all the way. Uh, Wheat Wild, damn thing will let me donate. Also, I told you that once I bought $22 call, we were doomed. It's all your fault, Wheat Wild. <laughs> I'm going to blame you for it. You've been, able, you've been able to donate in the past. Why can't you donate now? Are you traveling? Is that why? Because I, I thought you mentioned you're taking a trip to Greece. Maybe it's because your IP address is all different or something right now. Peach Sunday, if only the same number of agents raiding P. Diddy's homes or used to investigate naked short selling. Yeah. So P. Diddy, it was rumored that P. Diddy was escaping to uh, Cape Verde Islands, but then the plane landed in uh, Antigua. Antigua? 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 How do you pronounce that? Uh, and then P. Diddy was at the executive airport in Miami, seen pacing around in a frenzy. And then apparently his drug mule, some like 25 year old guy from Ohio was arrested with a bunch of drugs on him at the same airport, but P. Diddy wasn't arrested. So yeah. And then videos coming out, I think it was Cat Williams saying that he was offered millions of dollars to have sex with P. Diddy. And he was like, no, bro, <laughs> which always surprised me. Cause I always thought Cat Williams would be like, let's do that. Um, but it's, this whole thing has fallen apart in a big, big way. Like they, they handcuffed his kids and raided his homes. Uh, apparently they're looking for the incriminating evidence that he was blackmailing people. So now the rumor is, is that his plane that flew to Antigua was full of all the blackmail evidence. So that now it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get the evidence back to the US. Um, I haven't heard anything as if, if, if like the Port Authority in Antigua or customs or whatever is doing anything with what's on the plane. It's very, it's a very, very, very weird. Like there'll be a movie. Who's, who's going to play P Diddy in the movie. That's what I want to know. Like monkey, who do you think is going to play P Diddy in the movie? I bet it's going to be Donald Glover. That's who I think it is. It's, 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 it's going to be Glover. Yep, Childish Gambino is going to play P. Diddy in the movie. What do you think, Monkey? Huh? You're looking at me like you like you agree. Do you have something to say? You have something to say? You're just saying, donate to Humane Society because I'm a cute puppy dog. And everyone should donate to the Humane Society and get their ears scratched. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes. Yes, donate to the Humane Society. <laughs> Make dogs happy. Has anyone donated recently? First day of the bachelor, last one. Okay, so we're still at seven hundred and uh, seven hundred forty-six dollars towards a one thousand dollar goal. Um, GameStop, GameStop's up a little bit. Your puts are still in the money. It's at thirteen twenty-four. So, right, monkey? Yeah, you little good dog. Karen Merz, at least having a better day than the bridge in Baltimore. Oh my God. That, holy smokes. That is absolutely the most horrifying things that have happened. You guys look at the big, I'm sure, I'm sure you looked, you've looked at the uh, 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 video of that. So apparently a big giant ship flagged out of Singapore was leaving the port, right? It was on its way to Colombo, Sri Lanka, and lost power and lost rudder and smacked into one of the supports of one of the longest suspension bridges in the world, which is the one that goes, it's at the, uh, the, uh, 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 Francis Scott key bridge. Um, we can, we can look at that. Let's, let's, let's open up the old Google earth here and we'll show you exactly how important this bridge is. Come on, open up Google earth, open up. You can do it. Open faster, open faster, open faster, open faster, open faster, Google earth. Don't see the shade of them. 
Let's put in. There we go. Don sees your shade. Bam. All right. Google Earth. You get you over to the Google Earth window and go there and click on that. Okay. Baltimore. Come on. Come on. Come on. So it's this big ass bridge here and allows you to basically skip uh, uh, downtown Baltimore if you're trying to travel from the Northeast to Washington DC or vice versa. It's this huge bridge here and it's 1.6 mile crossing, I believe. Um, it's, it's a big bridge and it's got a couple of tricky parts because you've got Fort Carroll, which is this little island here, right? And the ships have to have to go through this span. So they really have to like have to a thread a needle through the span, not go towards the um, uh, land here at Fort Carroll. Uh, and so footage came out of the ship passing through here and it loses power about Mjaw. And it looks like they kind of regained power again, then it loses power a second time and then drifted, hit the hit this support, and that dropped everything. <laughs> the whole thing. Absolutely terrifying. I mean, most major port cities have bridges like this because most major ports are inside protected harbors. Um, so you, you got you got lots of bridges like this in, all, all over the world, and it is absolutely terrifying that that one little bonk from a big ship can bring the whole thing down. Now we have a couple of, uh, looks like they're, they're looking to do more spans here. This looks like almost like a construction project. Is this for power lines? What is this? Yeah, it's power lines that they have there. So, I mean, if the ship had lost course and hit these things, the bridge might've been saved, but man, absolutely terrifying. So now, a whole bunch of traffic that goes between New York and Washington DC is gonna get routed through the main corridor here that normally goes around to avoid that, uh, goes across the Trans Scott Key Bridge. Plus the port's basically shut down. Baltimore Port is one of the larger, larger ports in the entire country. You can just see from the number of docks that are in here, there's just a boatload, a literal boatload of docks inside here. Um, so now a whole bunch of port traffic is going to get rerouted to elsewhere in the East Coast. And there's a bunch of stuff that's stuck in the harbor that can't leave until they clear the bridge out of the way, which could take probably weeks. When we're talking, looking at giant cranes and barges having to arrive to pull that stuff out. It's going to be, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, yeah. How big is Baltimore Harbor? Like, let's, let me do a quick little uh, draft Google Earth. Go here. Um, largest U.S. ports. Okay. Let's give us our list. All right. So Los Angeles, New Jersey, Long Beach, Savannah, Houston, Virginia, uh, Seattle, Tacoma. Um, Charleston, Oakland, Miami. That's the 10 busiest. It's not, I, thought, I thought Baltimore would have been the 10 busiest. Uh, list of US ports. Okay. So this, this is you know, the top 10. I want to know if it's in like top 11, 12. Jacksonville. Gosh dang it. That doesn't tell me how big Baltimore is. Baltimore. Overall, Baltimore makes the ninth biggest port for international cargo. Okay, but how come I was on the top 10 list? That's the case. <laughs> so this here says it's the ninth biggest port as of this news report this morning. Uh, 15,000 direct jobs, 139,000 jobs in related services. So that would be, that would mean like uh, day truck drivers, stuff like that. 
Hmm. Huh. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, avocados. Oh, I keep on my pen over here. Avocados. Um, 14. So that puts us at... $780. So $220 to go, monkey. $220. That's, two, that's like a two adoption fees. Two doggy adoption fees. You're looking at me like, because I keep saying your name, keep messing with you today, then maybe, since it's your day, it's the monkey butt, Humane Society, Fantastico, right? Oh, oh, she got that one pretty good. Let's do a big Jaws cam, because why not? There we go. Stinky beef. I can't smell stinky beef today because my entire head is plugged with cedar pollen. And uh, what you gonna do, right? So there we go. All right, monkey. Yay! Hooray! You wanna come up here and say hi? You wanna come up and say hi? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You're such a good little dog. It's 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 Humane Society Day. It is. It's a problem, Humane Society Day. When you have bad days, this guy, she's gonna have a good day, right? She's just gonna be a happy dog. She'd be super happy. He's there, be like, hey, let's go for a walk. And you know what? He'd be like, yeah, let's go for a walk. Right? And you, you fluffy fat cat sitting in the corner, pretending like life sucks. You always have a good day. You get pumped full of drugs because you have asthma, and then you get to be the beefcake. Right? So if you came from Paws and not from Humane Society, so I couldn't find a Paws uh, donation on YouTube. So it was Humane Society today. Okay. Ramen staying on the menu. Yep. You do fancy ramen. So here's the thing. Go get yourself some like carrots and some snow peas and uh, uh, celery. Maybe like you can cashews. Chop that crap up. Throw them in there. Boil it in there when you make your ramen noodle. And it feels first class. You know, maybe throw a little some chicken breast. You got on sale in there. And you're good to go. Right? All right, monkey. It's delicious. And I ended up, like I did it last night, I made myself so much ramen that I couldn't finish it all. A monkey butt got to finish it because she's, you know, a garbage can. And she did anything. Part of your point, if you thought GME calls were going to go good today, I have a bridge in Baltimore to sell you. Ouch. <laughs> Say, but Houston, can anything happen to change GME between now and tomorrow? Uh, sure things can happen. Will they? I doubt it. Uh, my guess is, is that it'll open, it might open at like 13 something tomorrow, uh, which is kind of where it opened on Monday or closed on Friday, I guess. Uh, we're at 1309 right now. It'll probably be a little bit, a little bit climb in the morning as people are like, Ooh, it's now a deal. Uh, but for the most part, that's kind of where we are. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, like Forrest, my brother-in-law is a, a M, M, the Maryland Department of Transportation Inspector and was on that bridge at 1.30. They've located him, so stop joking, idiot. Whoa. Well, I'm glad I'm glad he's okay. I heard, I heard that there's six people still missing. Um, it, Terrifying. And it, it's a good thing that it happened in the middle of the night and not during rush hour. Um, rush hour, there have been hundreds of people on that bridge. Absolutely crazy. Personal name, can you read the 10K for GME? Where is... I... Lost my spot. Uh... Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Okay. Um, 
we have annual the annual filings. So we can open up one here. We also have an 8K that got filed too. What's what's in the 8K? Okay, the 8K results of operations, financial condition, following information is furnished pursuant to blah blah blah. Section departure of directors, election personal da, da, da. board directors of the company uh, promoted Daniel Moore, the current interim principal financial officer of the company, to the role of principal financial officer. So Daniel Moore has made been made permanent. That's what the 8K is about. And that's about it. Okay. 10K. Where is this one? 10K. Uh it's 70 pages. <laughs> I mean, I can read it. It's 70 pages. Um, this is... Okay, let's talk about the number of locations they have in each other states. Uh, business strategy, blah, blah, blah. Trademarks, blah, blah, blah. Risk factors, economics and industry. Sales products of discretionary spending by consumers. So that's the risks. Um, uh, oh, great. Now my monitor just went puny pop. Dead man monitor. Likes to go out every once in a while. So like, give me a second. I reboot the monitor. Uh, Financial results depend significantly upon the business terms we obtain from our suppliers and service providers, including competitive prices, unsold product return policies, advertising market development. So there, do, 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 do. I don't think there's anything too interesting in here. Uh, if our systems fail to perform or are inadequate, our ability to manage our business can be disrupted. Basically, like like the whole risk thing, they just think of anything they possibly could. It could be an asteroid that comes from outer space and wipes out every video game system on Earth. And then, you know, no one buys games. Uh, risk related to common stock, short squeeze, blah, blah, blah. Large stockholders exiting their position, class A, actual anticipated fluctuations, financial operating results, time and locations. It seems like the exact same 10K that they file every quarter. So that's even different. I still can't breathe through my nose. I'm a mouth breather monkey. I feel like panting like you. Tadulus donated in that was my pen. Tadulus. Tad. Ooh. Loose. Tadulus. And that's Euros. Okay. Where's that put us? We're at what? 786? 806! Oh, Fatal Wraith got, got in there, that's why. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Uh, L. Wraith. Boom. $194 to go. And we'll be at our, we'll be at our goal. We'll be at the goal of one drawing. If we get to 1500 bucks, we'll be draw two names. So we'll see how this can go. Whew. It's really hard to not have a nose to breathe through, monkey. It's killing me. I could breathe through my nose last night when it was raining, and now it's just a beautiful day outside. Like, come on. Rain. The weather says it's going to rain. Knock all that pollen out of the air for me. Make me happy again. I slept for a good part of the night while it was raining, and then it stopped raining, and... Uh, Hoddle and Z, Jimmy could buy back 7.6 million shares right now for 100 million. That's true. They could. Andrew Dow Houston, let's look at the positive of 3 million investors by 88 shares at 1280. We own the float again. Woo! Why not? Right? 88 shares isn't that much. 88 shares at 1280. How much is that? That's thousand thousand one one thousand one hundred twenty six dollars per investor on that one, so give it a whirl, right? Uh, uh, all right. 
Okay. Oh, uh, I got a notification. T-Mobile is who I who I have for my cell phone. If you are a T-Mobile customer, you can go to the T-Mobile store, wherever the local T-Mobile store is, and get really cool Eclipse glasses. They're regular sunglasses that have Eclipse lenses that fold down, and they'll give you give them to you for free if you're a T-Mobile customer. So anyone who didn't get glasses from me, uh, head to your T-Mobile T-Mobile store if you're a T-Mobile customer, and they will give you really neat Eclipse glasses, like fancy A plus, super fancy Eclipse glasses, uh, way better than the cardboard ones that that uh, I was sending out. Um, so by all means, do that. Matt Newton. Matt Newton. Boom. All right, we're at $826, so $174 to go till we have funded our Humane Society Challenge, right, Monkey? Are you are you food comaing now? Because you had four whole stinky beefs? Okay. Uh, since you're 206, you sold my calls before close those up. Well, everything's full of shoulda, woulda, couldas, right? Uh, Koski 406, let's keep our fingers crossed for tomorrow. Feels like a head trap. We positive now, so that's good. Well, I mean, maybe they'll make some sort of announcement tomorrow or Thursday or Monday or never. I don't know. <laughs> but they do have to they do have to announce at some point what they're going to be investing their money in and what they're getting out of it, right? So, we'll see. Hey, Zalea Houston, I was just thinking about your Jimmy puts and calls. Did it work out for you? No. I could not get my puts. Uh, I got 14 calls, and that's all I could buy because stupid Robin Hood is being a dick. And I was able to get, I never able to get my puts. So, I mean, at least I only, I only lost 900 and not anything else on it. So, but I could, if I got my puts, I would have gained six gay back. That would have been so bad. Say the sapien, Houston, what can I do with these calls? Can I sell them for a tiny return? Yes. You should be able to sell them for a tiny return if you can sell them. Uh, but it's going to be very tiny. Very, very tiny. Probably have a write-off for next year. Uh... Matthew Jackson, so what's planned for calls now? Sell on Wednesday morning or hold to try and recoup? Uh, I mean, these are weeklies, so that means Theta takes over and it looks absolutely terrible. They may, I mean, they may announce something tomorrow. I doubt it. They may announce, they may announce something tomorrow and it goes wee all over again, but uh, I wouldn't hold out for hope for that. My guess is, is that if they announce anything, it probably wouldn't be till next week or in the coming weeks. So... Uh, Sujo, are you still expecting Gamma for Monday? I am not expecting Gamma for Monday. Uh, if if the stock price had rocketed after hours, then it would probably be up all week, and there would be Gamma for Monday. But I, I I don't see it going up from here. It's about where the price was last week when it closed, and that's that's what you got. Uh, Vizio guy. Thirty-five euros. Okay, so that puts us at uh, eight sixty-four, so one hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty-six dollars to go. Uh, ABC one two three short sellers are so predictable. Their manipulation is so visible now. Always a major dip after earnings, regardless of fundamentals improved. Pretty much. Pretty much. Jimmy D, dude, miss up Jimmy, big sad. Big sad indeed. Andrew Dell, I'm not 100% on options trading in the UK, so I just kept buying and holding. For the safest way to do it. Data Bachelor, trade Tuesdays are monthly pools of redemption, so let's go. All right, monkey. Monkey day. Uh, Jimmy D, I pulled Uno reverse on myself, thought I would be super bullish, so I did a two to one puts up to calls. Well, you probably did all right then, Jimmy D. <sighs> Hold on, Zian got some shares at 12.65, so I guess it made a little back. Didn't buy options, just down overall. Yeah, Sidkick Hagen, Houston. 
What do you think of the bridge collapse in Baltimore? Puts on that shipping company, maybe a good idea. I am curious as to what, like, how big of an insurance claim? I mean, a bridge like that costs $2 billion, maybe, to build? $3 billion, right? When was the Francis Scott Key Bridge built? Let's see how much it cost when it was built. Francis Scott Key Bridge. Uh, no, Wikipedia, that's what I want. Okay, so. Uh, hazmat's prohibited. Baltimore Harbor, tunnels, bridge facilitated. Okay, it's $4 toll. 1960s commission included need for a second harbor crossing. After the earlier harbor throughway and tunnel opened in 1957, they began planning single tube tunnel. Pasco River, further southeast downstream. Okay. <clears throat> it's open 1977. Does it have a cost? Uh, 8,636 feet. Yeah, 1.6 miles. So that's huge. Uh, let's see here. Uh, collapse doesn't have it's got the brief little thing on the collapse, but nothing on how much it costs in the 70s to build. Oh, 33 million dollar budget. So, 33 million dollars in the 70s. That, uh, oh man, that's so cheap. Um, the floating bridge, the Evergreen Point floating bridge here in Seattle, cost 4.5 billion and it's over a mile long and it's just concrete sections. Uh, the newer Tacoma Narrows Bridge, I think, was about a billion. But that was, what, 15 years ago? So my guess is to replace this thing, probably a couple of billion. <clears throat> I wonder what spans can be saved. That might make, think, might, might, make, might make things cheaper. So, like, this is the one that got hit in the whole bridge collapse result. How many of these are still structurally sound? Like, they just have to replace this one? Uh, if that's the case... Right, so they have to place this one. There's some costs. Put a new span in. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. And then the insurance payout. Again, they're looking at insurance payout for the bridge. Uh, lost money for goods that can't leave the port or enter the port. Um, lives lost. They are going to have dollar values associated with them. I'm very curious as to just how much that insurance can pay out and if the shipping company can handle that, right? Huh. Interesting. Um, you said nose breezes, breathe some more. Ape Ghost Moon Protocol. Ape. Ghost. Moon. Protocol. Boom. Wrong conclusion. Oh, wrong conclusion. Look at you. Wrong conclusion. Boom. That's going to get us real close. That's going to get us to... We're at 967, monkey. We're at almost the first drawing. 967 of our $1,000 goal. So we've got $33 to go. $33 until the Humane Society is funded. Right? How about we get to thirty? If we get another thirty-three dollars, I'll give you more stinky beef. How's that sound? So monkey butt gets another stinky beef at the thousand-dollar mark, right? Uh, Trade spider, how much money is Robin Hood cost you? That's what happens when you use Robin Hood. Uh, probably about six k on this one. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I basically would have got all my money back. Yeah, it cost me about 6K. Oh my goodness, where did the chat just reset? Sorry, I gotta scroll back up here. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, there's, there's Jimmy Z. All right. There's Kiki Steve Hagen. Um, did someone say dish towel? <laughs> is that why? Is that why you finally donated to you guys to get yourself a dish towel? <laughs> Vera Nocum, tw twenty bucks. I got Vera Nocum. Vera, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You donated after Cameron Merza, so I got gotcha you on the list. Rick just joined. How is Houston's Jimmy Options play doing? That's how it goes. Derek Cole's thing I'll retire from calls and puts for all. It is degenerate gambling. That's exactly what it is. Olga Netswaski, why is everyone whining it pumped a week and dumped before back to the pump price? I mean, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> if you had to, if you had, had shares, you're no different than you were last Friday. Low BM checked on Jimmy earnings. Sound of it don't want to. The earnings were fine. They apparently analysts raised their expectations. Uh, to 30 cents a share and GME ended up doing 21 cents a share and posting their first profit. So it's, it's okay news. They didn't, they didn't beat their earning expectation, but they are profitable on the year and that's all you can ask for from a company. So, uh, no new counts for Mrs. G font, sad Panda. I'm sorry. Just here to huddle. Jimmy cautions statement uh, concentration of company's investment portfolio into one or fewer holdings, losses in a particular security, even if the company has not sold the security. Interesting. So they might have themselves a pile of securities and something. Trace Pattern recently quit Robinhood now. Yes, <laughs> they, have, they have lost me finally. <sighs> Derek Horst, also having a thousand bucks and owing a thousand bucks is a big difference. Avoid debt if you can. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't like the idea of trading on margin. Um, even if I were like a giant family fund, trading on margin would freak me out. I would not want to do it. So uh, don't don't borrow twenty grand to buy options. That just that will just end poorly. It's just inviting the 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 worst outcome you could possibly have. Okay. Pew. No change in DRS numbers. That's also very interesting. I have a friend can't donate from Wahoo this time around. I've, I've got a message from a few of you that, that you can't do any donations at the moment. Bat bones. Bat bones with the fiver. For Humane Society, we're getting closer, monkey. We have uh, $28 to go, and then you get more stinky beef. Her, her eyeballs are bugging out of her head right now. Absolutely just... Get up here. Come on. Get up. So people, people want to look at you. It's your day. It's your, it's, it's monkey butt charity Tuesday day. So, yeah, let's, let's be, let's, let's be up here so everyone can see you. Over here, scratch your little ears. Yeah, it's your day. It's your day, buddy. See, see, how, see what kind of day it is here. Everyone, look at your little monkey face. Look at that thing. Look at that sweet little dog right there. Look at that sweet little dog. Are you a sweet little dog? Are you? Are you? Are you hoping someone donates so that we can get you more stinky beef? Is that what you're working for, you regal beast? Huh? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, the happy old lady. Uh, Leviticus P. Diddy also sold all his stake in Revolt TV. The sale just went through this week. Uh, P. Diddy is a billionaire, from what I heard. So he probably has tons of offshore resources. Uh, 
I wonder, do you, was he, do you think he was ever allowed to like get on a plane yesterday at the uh, airport in Florida? Who will play him? GR America says Will Smith or John Boyega. Uh, or it should be Cat Williams. That'd be funny. Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> uh, hardcore Mark Straw on your butthole. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Paul Couch, stupid question, Houston. Why don't EV companies put solar panels some type of the vehicles? Some of them do. Um, there's a generation of Prius that did it for the air conditioning. Uh, Aptera has solar panels on theirs. Apteras have about a thousand mile range. They're super light uh, uh, vehicles, um, and you can you can charge the car just from solar. Like the entire skin of the car is solar panels. Have you ever seen Apteras? They're goofy little cars. Um, Aptera. So they're they are goofy goofy little hypermiler cars. Um, so you can see the, they look like little three wheeled spaceship thingies. Uh, here you go. There's solar panels. They got them on the hood, the roof, and the trunk. Then they get about a thousand mile range. They're specifically just to be a commuter car. Like they're not, you're not going to be hauling your groceries around. You're just heading to work, getting your thousand mile range out of them. Um, they're like little space age goofballs. Uh, so they've got solar panels and you can charge the, You can charge the car. It takes like a day or two to do a full charge. Here we go. That's a better image of the solar panels. So solar panels on top, all over, all over the trunk. Um, they've been around for a couple of years. They're a very small scale company and, uh, never needs to be plugged in. How, how long does it take to charge? Uh, solar power to be, so, so it charges enough to do 40 miles a day on just solar without plugging it in, but you can, you can, you can plug it in and get a thousand mile range out of the batteries. Um, so you can charge off 110 as well. So you'll need a, you'll need a supercharger for it. So there you go. That's the Aptera. So it's it's a unique little little dude, but other car companies don't don't do that yet. Just this and just the. Uh, one of the versions of Prius has has it for the air conditioning, and air conditioning only. Low B can't donate either. Weird. All right. Uh, the Baltimore Bridge Fund next Tuesday. Very possible. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan will play him in the movie. Uh, it's pretty good. Michael B. Jordan doesn't have much of a chin and neither does P. Diddy. That's why he's got the, the beard. So that would, that would probably work. Don't see a shade of a backhoe on a flatbed on a truck hit a bridge in front of me yesterday and crushed the front of my car. It's totaled and I have broken bones. Happened yesterday. Batavia, Ohio. Don, what the hell? So you're on a bridge, so it hit a bridge in front of you and crushed the front of your car, so you got smushed. Damn, dude. Damn. Cal Ripken way sad? What? What about Cal Ripken? Something happened to Cal Ripken now? Oh, Peter Angelos, the owner of Baltimore, happened. Carpkin Jr. I'm not saying that you're, you're saying Carpkin very sad, but I what? I mean, where the Carpkin Jr. had passed away. I'm not seeing that pop up yet. So what? Uh. 
But Don Shishanum, I hope you're okay. You got broken bones. That's that's no good for anybody. Uh, Anonymous done the 28 bucks. So it puts us exactly at a thousand dollars. So you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to do this. Breathe, monkey. I have my nose is so plugged. Holy smokes! <sighs> I'm just a mouth breather. Okay, come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. one more, one more stinky beef in the jaws camp. How's that? Next stinky beef will be. At fifteen hundred bucks, <laughs> if we can get to fifteen hundred bucks, we get the uh, second um, drawing. So we got one drawing out of the way. Now well, one of you is going to get a treat uh, from Fifty Cent Wish thing. If we get fifteen hundred bucks. Monkey Buck gets more treats, and you guys get another drawing for uh, what should you call it? The Fifty Cent Wish, right? Yeah, Happy Dog, get back up there. Come on, Come on get back up there. Get back up there. Yeah, you just be happy dog right there. Right there, getting the ear scratch. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, somebody would scratch my ears like this all the time. Alex Bishop, send me 20 bucks, sent you Instagram message. Okay. Thank you, Alex Bishop. Okay, Alex Bishop, I got you on here. Yep. I got you. Okay. Uh Terracross, can you play a video of it? A video of what? Just Miami? Well, YouTube won't let me donate. YouTube is so weird. Like, people who donated tons in the past, all of a sudden, it's like, mm, no, we're not working today. It's very annoying. Very, very annoying. Bill Coin, home price is up 5.6 overall as of today. Lowest inventory in years. I saw a thing that showed 90, it's like 99% of all. Uh, home loans are below f four or five percent, which means, like, listen, if if you're not buying with cash, how the heck are you paying for a home right now? Right? Are you buying with cash? Are you a cash buyer? Are you? You can tell me. You can tell me, monkey. What are your, how are your finances? Daphne's donation thing isn't working either. What? You get a blank screen? That's what someone else uh, messaged me. I think it was uh, Ludicrous Speed messaged me that he gets a blank screen as well. I don't know what the solution is. Um, that's weird. YouTube. YouTube. Okay. I got to click on you. I got to go to help. Actually, click there. Go control help work control help 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 what the hell? oh there we go uh ask the help community contact us channel membership one-time purchases managing channels performance membership one-time purchases movie rental super chat probably that uh viewers not able to donate for charity stream next problem with youtube giving bam are you still uh next up uh copyright issues live stream other get in touch Help us, nonprofit. Um, what next? Chat. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, what am I talking about? YouTube Premium Music, shows, movie purchase, rentals, super chat, super stickers, super thanks, channel member shows, prime time, other issues. Uh, start chat. Uh, 
I, do, I, uh, I don't have a screenshot because, like, it's not happened to me. It's happening to my viewers. <laughs> All right. Those of you who are getting the blank screen. In the corner of YouTube, click help. Click something about YouTube giving. And then send them a screenshot of your blank screen and be like, what's up, yo? And then maybe... I doubt they'll get it fixed in time, but YouTube has been pretty responsive for when I've had issues. I just don't have the screen shot to give them because it's not happening to me. It's happening to you. So yeah, do that. Talvin four donated 20 bucks. Fantastic. Talvin four. Port Towns and own. Talvin four. Boom. All right. Excellent. We're at 120, monkey. We'll leave $480 to go until a second drawing and more stinky beef. We're not going to... Uh, I didn't say come down. No, get, get back up there, dude. Come on. Get back up there. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what? You're like, it's my day. It's my day. I'm the monkey puncher. It's my day. It's my day. Here, come do the show with me. Come do the rest of the show with me, monkey. I know you look very concerned. You're very concerned that you're in the air now. But you know what? Well, you'll be up here and you can do the rest of the show with me. Do you have anything to say? Do you need to add? Do you have anything to say and add? Huh? Okay. Um. <sighs> okay. Lisasa Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, slated for completion in 2026. Construction started in 1882. Is the world's most overrun project? Um, it is an absolutely beautiful, crazy church. I'd love to go see it someday. I've not had a chance to go to Barcelona. Uh, but there are medieval churches and castles that took hundreds of years to build. So it's not out of the ordinary. Um, there, there are like castles that, you know, start construction in 1305 and finished in 1500 and something where like six generations worked on the same castle. So that's what we got. It's really hard to talk when I can't breathe through my nose. What do you, how do you do it, monkey? How do you do it? Oh, where, where, where are you trying to go? Where are you going? Where are you going, monkey? No, we're, we're up here. We're up here. It's your day. You, you, you want to be antsy in the pantsy? You got to hang out. That's, that's where you go. Uh, Robin pressed cream, cream of mushroom. That sounds interesting. Oh, eating chicken breast right now. Oh, there she goes. Oh, she's gone. She's had enough. Okay. Uh, Corporate Walnut, Eddie Lampert talk a class at HBS today. What's any? It was what, what was Eddie Lampert talking about? Daphne, not sure. I get excited about earnings anymore. It feels like Groundhog Day. Yeah. Where are we right now? Looks like it's, it's flattening out back to thirteen twenty, which is I think exactly where it closed last Friday. So, just. Oh, Mike Force, sorry, they have not located him. Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness, Mike. So, yeah, Mike's, uh, your you say your brother in law? Was that who it was? Scroll up and find. Uh, goodness gracious. So, yeah. Oh, my, that sucks. That sucks. Thank you, Matt Newton. Um, that's a shame. Afrin Flonase too. I don't have any Flonase. I don't have any Afrin. I would just love to never be in Washington State between 
March 15th and May 1st ever again. Just hit the road, Jack, and get out of here. <clears throat> Ace Ventura Rock Solid owes us 500 bucks. How many people does Rock Solid owe $500 to? Ace Ventura Houston, can you please explain the universe, life, and everything? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, universe exists because it can. Life exists because it can. And uh, what you do with your life is up to you. But basically, um, as long as you uh, consume, defecate, and procreate, that's life. So, you know, do those things. Anything else is just killing time. Like right now, we're killing time between eating, defecating, and procreating. Uh, a bacteria is only doing those things, right? You know, your tiny little aphid is doing those things. It's not aphid's not getting it on though, because aphid's already born pregnant with a whole bunch of females who are pregnant with a whole bunch of females. Uh, and your geckos are just cloning themselves as more ladies. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of the goal is to eat shit, make more. And kill time in between. So, right? You're killing time, aren't you, monkey? Monkey's like killing time between eating because she's hoping to get more good goods. Uh, Martin Irvine. I keep losing my pen. Martin Irvine. Martin Irvine. It's uh, euro. That's pounds. Five pounds. Uh, first name, last name. Boom. Where's that? Other, a little over a thousand. We're at a uh, thousand thirty-one. So there we go. <sighs> Mouth breather, Houston, checking in. Uh, KCTB, Apple lost it. DOG saying Monopoly and App Store and iPhone ecosystem and even watch and messaging not working with Android. Do you think this will stick? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, <clears throat> Apple does not have a good track record at winning these things. Um, it used to be that you could just download programs on your computer, right? Okay, like, hey, here's a program, download, and you didn't have to go through anybody and get any permission to do anything. You can go into developer mode on your Android phone and download whatever you want. It'll be like, hey, this is not an approved app. Are you sure you want to do this? It could be a virus. You'd be like, screw you, man. I'm downloading anyway. And you have the right to do that. You do not have the right to do that on Apple phone. Uh, they've lost the right to repair lawsuits. They've lost a whole bunch of stuff in the European Union having to do with like proprietary plugs and things like that. Um, I think I think Apple probably loses this as well. Just make things user friendly and allow competition. That's all you have to do. And if you provide the best product, people will flock to that. If you provide the only product, the people are stuck with it. So I think they lose. <laughs> Video guy to allergy because this one for crap, it's all in your head. <laughs> literally, literally right there. <clears throat> Daniel Olivares, what's the business doing to get people excited? Partnerships, dividends? I don't know. Time to see the shade Time to gamble on some AI penny stocks. They do better than all the usual rotation of MOAS stocks. Probably. Bridges are easier to burn. <sighs> KCTB. I'm interviewing people for a job. Any stories on interview psychology? How do you know people for real? Do interviews even make sense? I prefer temp job than hire instead. <sighs> I mean, my brother's the one that talked about this. He's interviewed thousands of people for jobs. Uh, I've only interviewed a few people for jobs. Um, a, you don't know if someone is lying or if they truly are exactly what you're looking for. So you've got, you got to work between those two things. Uh, the stuff I interviewed for in the past, I interviewed people for in the past, were teaching positions um, and tech positions. And 
when it came to tech positions, I found the best thing to do is literally test someone on their knowledge. Be like, hey, program this thing in C++ or Fortran or whatever. And if they would pump it out, then you're like, okay, the person knows what they're doing. That's good enough for me. Teaching, we kind of do something similar with teaching where we have them teach us a class. Be like, you know, hey, you're going to come in, you're going to teach us a lesson on this particular topic. And uh, uh, we usually have a couple of professors who aren't experts in that topic and a couple who are. And then the, the couple that are experts, they critique whether how good they did at doing that. And the ones who aren't experts critique on how well they actually learned. Um, so that's that's my experience. Uh, the one thing my brother told me about, about interviewing people, because he'd interview engineers and stuff all the time. Uh, he'd be like, here's what you do. <laughs> interview is if they ask you if you could do something, you say yes. And uh, if anything, you have an entire weekend to go to the library and learn whatever it is that, that, that they want you to know how to do. And so you go and you study and you work really hard. And all of a sudden on Monday, you can show up and be like, yes, I know how to do this thing. Uh, so you're going to get people who follow that. You also will get, you'll get, this is the weird psychology that they'll be like, especially women have this problem is that they don't champion themselves. Uh, I, I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's how we raise women in this country, but unqualified men have so much bravado and confidence like hell yeah i can do that and they have no idea what they're doing whereas an overqualified woman will be like well i don't want to brag you know i've done it before but i want to say i'm the best and it truly is that they are the best at what they do um, but they're self-depreciating they have they'll have uh, imposter syndrome and they will be like leaps and bounds above some guy who has no training in that system and is absolute like like you know cock of the walk type guy so if you're interviewing people, take that into note. The women are women are going to put themselves down as some sort of like, I don't want to gloat or anything. And really they could be like the truly most magnificent person in that particular field, that particular skill in the entire universe. And you'll have some mediocre dude who has zero experience who's like, oh, I do it all the time, I'm the best. And you're gonna hire that guy and find out that he sucks. So like Try to level that out. Like, if you're interviewing the woman and she's being very self-depreciating, be like, why are you being self-depreciating right now? I can read your resume. Like, you can do this, right? Don't sell yourself short. So that's one thing I would I would I would pay attention to. Bill Coin, the shipping company doesn't own the ship. They use an independent. I think they can get out of any liability. So the independent company, what type of insurance do they have? That's crazy. First name, last name, can't donate, goes to blank page. Well, you were able to overcome that first name, last name. How did you overcome that? I'm interested. Some other people weren't able, to, weren't able to overcome that. I had to go on PC and donate through the separate donate bo now box. Ah, so if you're on the if you're on the app on the phone, it's not working. But if you're on a PC, it's working. I see. I see. Okay, I gotta go back up again. Uh, is that a lawsuit? Yeah, penny stocks won. Shipping company won. Wrong conclusion. I'm hoping if I win that there is a Florida homeowner's insurance policy in the box. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh, when the, yes, I got a 50 cent insurance policy off of wish.com. <laughs> Andrew Dow, Houston, Jamie on trace bonds going full Scotsman rant. Those are usually good, really good rants. Uh, I recommend you always check out a, 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 a Jamie rant on there. He, he does well. You lost 6K in the options? No, I never got to win my 6K because <laughs> I never got to uh, uh, buy my puts because 
Robin Hood is being a dick. So I mean, I bought nine hundred dollars in option in in, in uh, calls, and I wasn't allowed to use the rest of my money for anything else. So I got a chunk of it, but I missed out on getting another six grand from from the puts. So oh well. <clears throat> KCDB, what happened? You quit Robinhood. Um, last week, Robinhood would let me buy options off of my my instant deposits. Uh, this week, it did not. And after the money had cleared, it still wouldn't let me buy options. So I I, I, I deposited money last Friday. Um, I bought options with that money. I sold my options Monday for a profit, and then went to go buy again. And like your money hasn't cleared yet. I'm like, well, my money did clear. Like, I guess I sold stuff and that hasn't finished his T plus two. I'm like, that's not the problem. The problem is, is that you did instant deposit and that money hasn't cleared. I'm like, I bought options with that money last Friday and it's cleared. It's out of my bank account and in your account and the cash is earning interest. It's like, well, it's not what's showing on my computer. And so they basically froze my cash. <sighs> anyway. Didn't get to get my my uh, put side of my play. Whatever, whatever, man. <laughs> You're gonna Pavlov monkey butt. She's gonna jump every time you hear that sound. Now, oh, she she hears my my chair squeak back like this. And immediately, she's staring at me. And then the hand might go up, ah, but it's not going for the tree yet. No. <laughs> but she's, she's eyeballing me. She's eyeballing me something fierce down there. Aaron Salantine, Jimmy is down. What happened? Earning Was it good earnings? It was an okay earnings. They're profitable. But they didn't beat their estimates. So they use that as an excuse to hammer the sucker down. All right, we're climbing up a little bit again. We're up to 1330. Okay. All right. Pat Pones, I had a blank screen as well. I just exited the stream and came back in and it worked. Okay, so that also can work to, to donate. Low B, Low B got in here. Where did I do my pen? So yeah, Leo B and Low B. Boom. That puts us, uh, so we at 1100 yet? We're at 1081. So $419 to go until you can get another treat and we can draw another name. So. There. Juice Miami got a hot tip and up and coming stock. Look it up, DJT. What did DJT do today as its first day of DJTing? Um, DJT stock price. Uh, that is not. Oh, because I forgot to put the D in there. That would help. <clears throat> Dow Jones transportation average? That's not what I'm looking for, man. What if I put a DWAC in there too? Okay. So DWAC was at $72 and then and then collapsed right at the end of the trading day. It dropped a whole bunch. So it was up a boatload. So it was at 72, 77.67 was the local high today. And then it bottomed out to 57 and is sitting at 62 right now. Crazy. What's uh it'll be interesting to look at what the implied volatility is for it starting next week. Let's see here. Maybe we can do D WAC options chain. Boink. Implied volatility is at zero at the moment. That doesn't make any sense. There's no prices, bids. Okay, maybe we do DJT, uh, Trump Media Group. Let's look at that one. Where is? New 
portfolio, finance, video plus. Where's my options, dude? Where's my options? Where's my options? News chart, profile, options. There we go. What we got? Here we go. Okay. Well, play volatility is still insanely high. Uh, 200% near the money. So the options are still going to be crazy expensive. Actually, they're a lot cheaper than they were earlier this week. So they were this this option was like fifteen hundred bucks on Monday. Now it's five twenty eight. So uh, we got to change the date though. Let's change for next week, April fifth. There we go. That's what we want. No, it's still still a lot cheaper than it was. So that means the puts. I want to buy puts that are, let's say, four months out. Let's go for June. All right. I want to buy puts for June. Uh, 2.5. Play volatility is only 300% on puts four months away. That's pretty decent for that far away, especially since that'll probably drop even more. So, um, I might look at this. <laughs> Because I think bad stuff will come out by then. It's a company that's valued at billions of dollars and makes $4 million in revenue. You go to their headquarters and it's empty. There's nobody in any of the offices. Um, they're losing $30 million a quarter. I think they're losing $30 million a quarter, but lost last month like $26 million alone. Uh, they have no business strategy. They have no way of making money because there's only so many like... Um, preppers that can advertise their seed packets and gold buying scams. Uh, <clears throat> you're not going to get people advertising like Dodge Rams or anything on there. <sighs> that might be a good one. That might be a good one indeed. Huh. All right. Keep that in, your, in mind, Houston, for next degenerate play. Uh, Daphne tried turning off her app, turning back on, didn't work. Bummer, man. Michael Harrow gets a blank screen with try to donate. Man, some people try to donate and they can't donate right now. That sucks. It's keeping you from getting another treat and adding people to the list of of potential drawings for fifty cent wish items. Four Z nine. Not that it matters, but reading some things, it looks like GameStop did buy back shares. Did they? Ibiza is dope. <laughs> what is that in relation to? Uh, Lambert was talking about AutoZone. Houston tried Flonase. Uh, I'll try something. The first time, last time, I had to go and see PC donate through separate donate now box. So try that. If you if you have a PC near you, try that. Oh, low B is on a laptop and can't donate. But you were able to donate earlier or a second ago. Oh, Daphne got in there. So Daphne was able to donate. Okay. Most people must be going to their PCs. So, Daphne and Donkey Potato. Donkey Potato. Potato. All right. Where's that put us, monkey? We're at $1,106, so $394 until you get another stinky beef. <laughs> Dear America, I have no idea what you are referring to in any of your comments. Did that stingray give birth? I have no idea. Uh, KLDG, Houston, I love the movie Game to, Game to the Greek. P to D is a big part of that movie. Pretty weak. Uh, I mean... It, his role in that movie was hilarious. When life gives you Jeffrey, pet the fuzzy wall. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's hard when you find out really horrible things about people. 
it's really, really hard to appreciate their work after the fact. Uh, as a kid, my dad lived in Japan. I didn't get to see him very often. I see him like two weeks a year, uh, basically. Sometimes four weeks a year if I was lucky. Um, and so Bill Cosby was like my surrogate dad. I watched the Cosby show. I had all of his books. I had all of his comedy albums. I would just sit and listen to his comedy albums over and over. The same age as my dad. Uh, both born in 1936. Um, his, their humor was very similar. And he was like my surrogate dad. He was just like, if I needed dad things, I would turn on a Bill Cosby album and just laugh my ass off. And when all the allegations came out and it seemed pretty evident that Bill, Bill uh, Cosby was drugging and raping women for 50 years, uh, I have not turned on a Cosby album since. I still have them memorized in my head, but I, I, I have not been able to stomach turning on a Cosby album and, and watching that or listening to that. Uh, you know, right, right now my Facebook feed, because I, I'm a baseball dude. I love reading about baseball. I love playing baseball. I love talking about baseball. Um, my feed on Facebook is full of these, these just fluffing, glowing articles about Trevor Bauer. Oh, Trevor Bauer needs a job. Trevor Bauer is the best pitcher around. Why has he been signed? Did Trevor Bauer will play for anyone for league minimum? Just give him a chance. Trevor Bauer just, you know, pitched three amazing innings against the New York Yankees in Mexico. Trevor Bauer is pitching for his team in Japan. Like, it's so obvious that Bauer's agent are paying these baseball pages to write glowing articles about him. And then the comment section are full of bots and troll farm accounts. Being like Trevor Bauer should play for the Cardinals. The Cincinnati Reds should try and sign Trevor Bauer. The Mariners should pick up Bauer. Like, why isn't everyone giving Bauer a chance? Bauer's the best, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of them are not authentic accounts. It is all total PR blitz for this dude. If you bother reading up on the things Trevor Bauer is accused of, you can understand why there isn't a single team in MLB that'll pick him up. Uh, you've got at least four different women who all who all have the same MO. One in San Diego, one in Arizona, two in Ohio in different cities that they agreed to go on a date with Bauer. Bauer's like, hey, do you like it rough? And their women are like, yeah, I'll pull my hair and spank me. And he beat the shit out of them, knocked him unconscious, and then raped them. And one of the women, one in Arizona, got pregnant from it. Uh, uh, the one in San Diego filed a restraining order, and then Bauer sued her for defamation. So she had to counter sue, and then they eventually settled that out of court. Uh, but Bauer released like three completely out of context text messages that were like, "I'm gonna get that bag," right? And in the in the narrative that Bauer and his agent are trying to push across, that these women are gold diggers. They're just after the money, whatever. Um, but like. There are other baseball players who go on dates and they don't have women accusing them of beating the shit out of them and raping them, right? There are other millionaires. The The girl in San Diego, she is, she is a baseball Annie. She dates baseball players. She's dated numerous baseball players, but she's never bothered filing a restraining order against any of the other baseball players, millionaire baseball players she's dated. Why only Bauer? Why are there four women, at least four women, in different jurisdictions around the country who all have the exact same story. Like I want a date. He said he liked it rough. I was like, okay, I'm okay with that. And then he beat me unconscious and raped me. Uh, I don't think Bauer will ever play an MLB again. The major league baseball did their own deep dive investigation. The The report is confidential, but, but, but front offices of all 30 baseball teams can read it. And my guess is what's in there is so horrifying that no team is going to take a chance on this dude. He's got three upcoming sexual assault trials. I think they're all civil, though, not criminal. Uh, first one starts in May. This is the woman in Arizona that he he beat unconscious and impregnated. Uh, and and like no team wants to take on a dude like this. No team wants to sign this guy, even to league minimum. He's, yeah, he's a great pitcher. He throws 99 miles an hour. And he's got crazy movement on his pitches. He's a Cy Young winner. He is one of the top pitchers in baseball. But he is such a clubhouse cancer, and he'll be such an awful distraction. He's going to miss a huge part of the season, having to testify in court. And, you know, the dirt that's going to come out is going to turn people against their teams, and he'll be a money loser for any team that signs him. Absolute money loser. His, every person he's ever played with hates his guts, going back to high school. He's just a weird little psychopath, 
And yeah, he might be really, really talented. But his brain is broken and he can't get along with people. And he apparently is a serial sexual predator. So, you know, despite the fact you've all these bot farm accounts being like, oh, sign Trevor Bauer. Uh, no team is going to sign him. No one's that dumb. To, like, just imagine the media shitstorm that's going to be for any team as day after day of trial. It'll be a highly publicized trial. We're talking, you know, not even sports publication. It'll be in People Magazine. It'll be on TMZ. It'll be on Bravo. It'll be on E! Entertainment. It'll be on Entertainment Tonight. It'll be on, you know, Inside Edition. Like, they're going to have every dirty little detail come out for the entire month of May in trial number one. And depending on how that goes... That may, that I've heard that the woman in that suit has uh, uh, subpoenaed Major League Baseball for their investigation, which if that comes out, Bauer screwed. Because Bauer, anytime under under the collective bargaining agreement with uh, Major League Baseball and the Players Union, uh, he could request to have that, that investigation made public at any time. Be like, hey, this thing clears my name. We'll make this in public and you see what how I'm such a good guy. But no, he has not done that yet. And it sounds like he's terrified, desperately trying to settle out of court in the Arizona case to keep that thing from going public. Uh, yeah, like, I, I, I'm I, of the belief that I don't care how good you are at something. If you're an absolutely terrible human being, you don't need to make a living at that thing you're good at. You just don't. Uh, like, if you are a lawyer, right? You're a really high, powerful, good lawyer. You get busted for beating your wife and kid, drunk driving, insurance fraud, hit and run, obstruction of justice. It doesn't matter how good a lawyer you are. The right of the Bar Association to suspend your license is thorough. You could, don't get to be a lawyer anymore. Oh, I deserve a right to be a lawyer. No, you, you can go work and bag groceries. You can... You can mow up people's lawns. You don't like you don't aren't given a God given right to be a lawyer. You aren't given a God given right to be a baseball player. If you are such a horrible human being that no one wants to work with you and is disgusted by your behavior, you do not have the you have the right to get fired <laughs> and have no one sign you to a contract. Uh, I mean, the dude's not going back to Japan because his teammates hated him in Japan. So, like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with my rant, but um, be a good person. That's I guess that's my, that's my thing. Like P Diddy, you suck. Bill Cosby, you suck. Uh, uh, what's the other one that sucks? Uh, was in the Spider-Man movies and Freaks and Geeks and <sighs> crap. The what's the other one? Monkey. The I can't remember that guy's name, but you know, when it turns out you're a terrible person, you don't, there's somebody else who can do your job for you and take that, take that role and no one has to deal with you anymore. And you know what? That's, that's okay. That's okay. We, there needs to be consequences that involve, you know, abhorrent behavior. And if you are a serial rapist who, you know, beats women unconscious, you don't get to play baseball. That is a reasonable consequence for your actions. You already have a hundred million dollars in the bank. You're not starving. Uh, I mean, Lance Armstrong's not riding to bicycle races anymore. Right. <laughs> so he's got a hundred million dollars in the bank. He's not starving. He might not have any friends, but uh, that's, that's the price you pay. James Franco. Thank you. Low B. That's the name. Of, that's the one I was thinking of. James Franco. James Franco probably won't be in any movies or TV shows for a long time. And I'm going to put him, he made like a, a an acting school and then uses it to basically sexually harass his acting students and like pressure them into sex and dates. That's, that's not cool. You just don't be gross. How hard is it not to be gross? Be stronger than your lizard brain. How many times do I have to say, be stronger than your lizard brain? How many times, monkey? And you what? I can put a delicious steak down on the coffee table and leave the room, right? I can leave there. There's a sizzling, beautiful, delicious, medium rare steak covered in, in, in salt and cumin and pepper. And, and it's just, just sizzling there. Delicious. I can leave the room and go pick up my salad and come back in the room. And this, this creature right here, this little beast, this little humane society angel won't, she'll stare at it and she'll drool but she won't try to eat that steak. 
you put any of these piece of crap dudes into a room by themselves with like, I don't know, an underage girl or something, and they would be violating that person in a heartbeat. This dog has a stronger control over her lizard brain than any of these dudes. You, you are a fantastic little lady. You are wonderful. And why people should donate to the Humane Society is because little wonderful beasts like you exist who, you know, have st strong powers over their lizard brains. This dog's brain is the size of a marble. It's the size of a marble. It's they got some wrinkles in it. It's the size of a marble. It has a very large frontal cortex. But you have stronger willpower than any of these horrible men. So you, you, you know what? You're going to treat anyway because you're just such a good dog. You're going to get a treat anyway because you're such a good dog. And good dogs get treats. And I'll just get one this time. Just one. Just one. I know I was supposed to wait another $500, but you're such a good dog. You're going to get a treat. There you go. There you go. I just had to appreciate. She could play Major League Baseball, Trevor Barkett. Okay. <sighs> Hannibal Grimm, I agree. I would argue that he made that film awesome, which double sucks in the snooze. Yeah, he was he was really good in that movie. He was. I admit. Like I was never I always thought P. Diddy made the worst music in the entire world. He made terrible, terrible music. Like, I remember listening to his cut where he like remixed Roxanne. It was like, Roxanne. He's like, Sting, yeah, yeah, Sting, what up, Sting, yeah. Roxanne, don't put on the red light. Sting, yeah, what up, for like five minutes. I'm like, this sucks. This is terrible. And I had zero good opinions about him. But in when he was in Get in Greek, I'm like, oh, I see this guy's appeal. It's not, it has nothing to do with music, but uh, I, I get the appeal. But now I can't appreciate that movie anymore. <coughs> Which of you gave Houston the Steve Jobs biography? <laughs> Aaron Salentine, I've gone to jobs I know I did in university, just don't remember. I have to remember on the fly. My jobs have been seasonal, just want a long-term job. I'm tired of this. I get it, man. Uh, plus the whole Apple thing. The Apple thing is just... Not Apple, the computer company. The Apple that poor Aaron... Customer at the grocery store returned an apple, didn't want their money back, and he's like, "All right," and took a bite out of it and got fired and got charged. Just the stupidest crap in the world. Low B. It's why I'm raising my daughter to take ownership of her accomplishments and to not to start sentence with "I'm sorry," but it's fine to own your opinions. Exactly. It is okay to own your opinions. It is okay to own your accomplishments. It's okay to be like, "Yeah, I did this, and I did a really good job at it." Right? You can ask any of these references and they'll tell you that I kicked ass at that one thing. Uh, it's okay to do. Like, I go on walks with a friend of mine, Monkey Butt, and her best friend, uh, Hawkman, who's also a Catahoula. And she uh, she works for the Washington State Department of Health. And she started during COVID. She was working on one of the COVID projects back then. And she does big data, like data science stuff for them. And she quickly discovered that a lot of her coworkers, you know, it's a state job. You get in there, you're in there for life, and you can suck at it. And she was figured out, she's like, oh, I'm doing the job of like four people because these four people are don't know how to use computers. And this is a computer-related job, so I'm doing all of their projects, and this sucks. And then she got offered a management position at King County, King County Department of Health, which is, you know, pay bump, and she gets responses to people under her. And she was like, I don't know if I'm good enough at this. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've only been doing this for like four years. People have been doing it for a lot longer. And it's like, okay, the four people who suck in your department, how long have they been at the job? And she's like, well, like 20 years. Like, exactly. And you're better than those four people, right? So now someone who sucks, who has 20 years of experience is going to apply for the same job and say how awesome they are. And then they're going to get that job and you won't. She's like, oh, that's true. I'm like, you have the capability of learning anything you want. So if, if you go in and you tell them all of your strengths and be like, hey, I've got some blind spots in this area, but if you teach me, it'll no longer be a blind spot. They're going to give you that job and you get the pay raise and you're going to be awesome at it. 
She's like, oh, I guess that's true. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're self-sabotaging yourself by going in there and being too humble. <laughs> like, don't be humble. You're in a job interview. They want to know how awesome you are. Go tell them how awesome you are. Go do it. So yes, Lil B, that's, that's how you should raise them. Uh, Lo B got her donation because it worked on the on the web, but not the app. For Garcia having problems donating, try on try opening it up on uh, uh, your app, either app on your phone or app on your computer, and see if that works. Would not Pulte turn bearish on BBBY after he attended the sporting event with RC? I mean, he's always been been complaining about the distribution stuff. Uh, be interesting to see because I, I don't care about distribution. I just care about a credit bid. I don't care who makes the credit bid. If if you know, I can't behind it. Cool. If RC's behind it, cool. I don't care who's behind it as long as they make credit bid for those knolls and give me my equity back. <clears throat> Oh, okay. I got some more donations here. Uh, bleh. Uh, bleh. Eight, three, one, nine. Eight, three, one, nine. Boom. And Michael Anthony. Michael Anthony. Boom. Cade McFadden. Mick. Bad. Bam. What's that? What's that? Where are we, monkey? We're at thirty-one thirty-six. So three hundred and sixty-four dollars to go until. Well, I, I did cheat and give you another cheat because you're just so adorable and you got a really strong lizard brain. Uh, really, you're stronger than a lizard brain. Um, but if we get to fifteen hundred, I will draw a second name for fifty cent wish. So keep that in mind. Your odds go up if a second name comes up. Or sorry, fifteen hundred dollars goes in. <sighs> Start alert last. <laughs> Hopeful Pomelo four eight eight. When is RDDT gonna bomb? When insiders can sell RDDT. I don't know about about RDDT. RDDT. Oh, Reddit. That's what their new thing is. Uh, it's up almost 100%. Um, so it opened at 54, $50.44. Its lowest was 46, and it's been up to 65 basically since then. As a Redditor, I could have gotten in at 32, but I was saving my money to make my stupid GME play that absolutely backfired oh well at least I didn't lose everything by you know doing nothing but call options <coughs> so but yeah i'm sure reddit's going to have in the next probably a few weeks they'll probably start having an options chain form uh they've not been around long enough to probably have an options chain yet Oh no, they do have an options chain going already. What? This is crazy. That's really soon. So they, yeah, they do have options. They got monthly options going. So we got. Uh, really? They only have in the money puts available though. That basically in the money puts available and calls. Uh, yeah, weird. Very weird. So you can't be like, I think Reddit's going to drop. <laughs> that's that's not available to you. You cannot bet against Reddit basically right now. It's at 65. You can get a $60 call, a $60 put, but they don't have anything lower than that. If you're like, Reddit's going to die. Interesting. But the fact that they actually have options chain available blows my mind because it's, 
it usually takes a little while for that stuff to pop up. Interesting. Hopeful Pamela 488. Donald J. Trump is a laundromat. DJT. Yeah. Yeah. Daphne, I'm so hungry for some really great news. It's been pretty depressing lately with everything going on in the world right now, especially in Gaza, feeling so helpless. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not been the best news. I mean, we got uh, scandals galore. We've got bridge collapses, wars all over the place. Uh, banks look like they're going to be doing shit. Like... Yeah, it would be nice to have. <laughs> Look at you resting your head like a little weirdo. Look at you. Um, it would be nice to have like some good news. Um, Brian Wu is starting the uh, season on the injured list for the Mariners. That sucks. At least he's the fifth starter, so we have some depth there. Uh, but Mitch Haniger isn't injured yet, so that's that's going for the Mariners. Start alert, Oi Houston. Oi, start alert. Uh, Mojo, thoughts on RFK Jr. VP pick? No one's picking uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I mean, maybe Trump might, but uh, RFK Jr. is an absolute crazy person. Here's, here's, here, regardless of his politics, right? If you just look at, at, at who he is as a person, he spent decades as a junkie. Um, he got uh, hepatitis from sharing needles and then he gave the hepatitis to his wife right uh, his wife had her own demons and she was suicidal and rather than being like hey let's get you help you're suicidal uh, he cheated on her with like 35 different women and then told her about it and then it was like why don't you kill yourself and then she killed herself that's not the type of person regardless of if they've cleaned themselves up and turned over a new leaf, that type of history, I think should automatically disqualify you from running the free world. I don't, I don't think a person who makes those type of decisions and then shows zero remorse about those decisions. Like RFK has never been like, I probably shouldn't have told my wife to kill herself. And then she did. I feel bad about that. He never, he never felt bad about it. So like that alone right there to me disqualifies RFK jr. From, any from 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 getting like the nod for any any position of power there are better human beings out there uh couple of the fact that he's basically a grifter at this point milking the anti-vax community for all he can the man is vaccinated the man's kids are vaccinated his current wife is vaccinated they're all vaccinated but he goes on speaking tours and writes books against vaccination and he's grifting those folks so, like, you know, why do we keep electing grifters? <laughs> like, you get Trump, who grifted for decades, that's his entire career. Uh, people are like, yeah, move around, woo! It's like, embrace the grift. I don't get it. It just, I mean, the entire Kennedy family has basically disowned RFK Jr. at this point. They don't agree with anything he says. They won't invite him to Christmas parties. They're like, stay away, dude. Uh, it's like, it's like, uh, was it ghost hurt, ghost, ghost hurt? The former dentist, the guy that, that I think has Parkinson's, the Republicans monkey, like his, his family, his brothers and sisters all made political videos against him. Like our brother is a terrible human being. He's awful. He's terrible to us. He's terrible to our parents. He's a piece of crap. Don't vote for him. And people were like, woo, I'm voting for him. Um, that. That never, like, I don't know, like, listen to people. <laughs> if, if people closest to them are like, do not trust this person to with with any power whatsoever, I think you should listen to it. That's, that to me seems like, I don't know. It goes with the lizard brain thing. Like, RFK Jr. has no control over his lizard brain. So, no, you don't get to be, you don't get to be vice president or president. <clears throat> Uh, Hannibal Graham, how many kookaroos do you own? What's a kookaroo? Kookaroo? Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know what that would be. Hopeful Pamela 4488. OJ killed the naked guns. Oh, as Norbert, he was hilarious. Absolutely just nailed that stuff, man. Uh, it's true. And you know what? OJ is not going to be in movies anymore. It's another anonymous thing. I don't know why I write down anonymous anymore, but uh, I did. What's well, euros? I don't know why I'm compelled to write it all down. Don't you say to my pills they gave me are making my IQ too low to follow. I think I will put on Pink Floyd's Echoes and chill. Have a good night. Don, get better. I hope you're doing okay and I hope everything heals all right. That's terrifying <coughs> what you went through. Uh, Pat Bones, Daphne, you have to wear jackets with a sponsor on them like NASCAR drivers. I agree. Like, we should see exactly who's donating what to everybody visibly. So it not have to, like, go and open secrets and, like, search and do all these things. It should just be like, this person donated $10,000, this person donated $20,000, this company donated that, etc. This is, you know, this is the super PAC that spent this much money trying to elect this person or whatever. This is where all their donations came from. Aaron Southampton, Houston, question. Let's say someone like that baseball player did all that horrible, uh, horrible stuff. I get it. But for anyone doing anything bad in their life, isn't the past dead? How only one experience uh, present now is the one judge. If that person changes their state of being in the present, like, I do believe in redemption. I do believe in, in if you show actual, actual remorse and sorrow for, for behavior, uh seek you know forgiveness isn't guaranteed but but apologize and truly honestly change your ways that's one thing but if all you do is blame the victim uh not acknowledge your part in any of the horrific things you've done then you've earned no right at redemption Right. Like it, there's, there's an entire reason. Like if you, if you go through like 12 step programs or other, other programs for uh, addiction, like a big part of it is owning up to the crap you did to people and checking off that list of apologizing to everyone in your life. You have absolutely burned because of, of, of your addiction. Now, Trevor Bauer is like, I'm going to have to look at like, be a little more, uh, 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 critical of the women I date. It's like that that's putting the blame like, oh, I shouldn't date such pieces of shit women. No, you shouldn't beat women unconscious and then rape them. That's that's what needs to be on like, hey, I did these horrible things. I'm a piece of crap. I need to be better as a human being. Not be like, well, I'm gonna find better women to date. Like, that's that's not owning up to anything. You know, uh uh RFK Jr admitted that he was a junkie in the past and he's cleaned himself up, but he's never talked about the horrible things he did while he was a junkie. He never went through that, that stage of, of, of seeking forgiveness and apologizing. Um, and he's never owned up to those, to those behaviors. He's been like, well, I stopped using heroin. Like that's sure. That's one great step, but there's a whole bunch of steps that should come after that. Uh, to be, you know, a fully fledged functioning human being. And <clears throat> he's, he's just never done that. Uh, man, I, my mouth is getting so dry from mouth breathing all the time. Uh, 
Sorry, trying to find the people having conversations in here. <clears throat> Kate McFadden, uh, we adopted all three of our pets from the local main society. They do great work. They do. The cat before BA, he was he was a, a, a humane society cat. Or sorry, cat before Chupa Batman, BA Baracus. He was a humane society cat. He was a wonderful cat. He was a good little dude. He he was fascinated because his tail was basically prehensile. Like he would you'd pet him and he'd wrap his tail around. The tail was like this long. It was crazy. You'd wrap around your arm like twice, and you could almost pick him up with it. It was it was really crazy. And then he got hit by a car and he broke the like last inch of his butt. So that really long tail just sort of dragged around behind him for the next 16 years. But he was a good dude. Gravis Rock Salt owes us five hundred dollars. Can you remind him in Atlanta? I'm not going to Atlanta, so it might be up. You might have to go to Atlanta, there, Gravis. <sighs> Just Miami Trump selling God bless America, bought God bless the USA for fifty nine ninety nine. Didn't have that one on my bingo card. God bless the USA. What? Is that he just did he release a single? Trump now selling God bless the USA Bibles for fifty nine ninety nine as he mounts facing legal bills. Interesting. <laughs> uh, of course, it's they they. What's funny? So this image they're using for this AP, yeah, this AP is that. What was funny is that is that what made this image famous was that he was holding the Bible upside down, and it looks like they just photoshopped. The upside down portion of that. This is when he had like the St. John's Parish cleared out of protesters and then went did his photo op with the upside down Bible. So former President Donald Trump is now selling Bibles as he runs to returns to the White House. Uh earlier this month released a video through social platform Tuesday urging his supporters to buy the God Bless the USA Bible, which is inspired by country singer Lee Greenwood's patriotic ballad. Trump takes the stage to the song at each of his rallies and has appeared with Greenwood at events. Happy Holy Week. Buy my Bible for 60 bucks. Interesting. That's one way to raise money. Um, he still has, he's got, what, nine days left to raise $175 million for his bond? Huh. Interesting. Uh, Corporal Walnut Houston, you did what you thought was best. Uh, Moas, always tomorrow. It's always tomorrow, man. Monkey Butt misses the jungle nuggies. Well, where are we now? We're at uh, we're 1141 bucks. So, Monkey, I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know how much longer my voice and nose can last. Uh, but I don't think we're going to get to 1500 I think it's going to be one name drawing for this month. If perhaps the call options play had worked out, we'd be crushing records right now. But instead, I'm just crushing allergy medicine into powder and hopefully snorting it through my nose at some point. <coughs> Mojo was hilarious when Trump was asked what his favorite Bible Bible verse was. All of them. Is that what he said? Oh, all of them. <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> Uh, I like the heavy metal verses, like uh, like when Amalek was happening. You know, God's telling the Jews, "You have to go genocide these people, Amalek," and he's like, "You have to cut the pregnant woman's bellies open and smash their unborn fetuses on the ground." It's like that's that's when someone's anti-abortion. I like to point that one out to them. They're like, "God's okay with abortion. He does it several times in the Bible." Like, there's nowhere in the Bible says abortion's bad. There's there's Book of Numbers, where bitter, uh, bitter water recipe is, is the bitter water is there to give a woman a miscarriage. There's Amalek, where you know, like literally, the Jews are ordered to cut pregnant women open and smash their babies on the ground. Uh, there's uh, Exodus, where all the firstborn are killed. 
Um, there's a story where kids make fun of a bald man and then God sends a bear to maul them all. Like a good chunk of the Bible is God being like, well, fuck them kids. So, you know, uh, and even like, if you look at, 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 at if you, if, if you, if you look at the old Testament, you know, what, what is the Torah and you look at the Talmud, which is the explanations of the stories in the Torah and the arguments between rabbis and everything, it comes down to like, yeah, uh, we don't think everyone should go get an abortion, but if it's to save the life of the mother, it's okay. So, you know, if, I don't know where I'm going with that. I got thinking heavy metal Bible, Bible verses. And that's the most heavy metal one I can think of. Um, but yeah, it's <clears throat> it's out there. And I don't know, maybe the, maybe the allergy medicine is just ruining my brain right now. <clears throat> Aaron Salting Trump just put on a credit card, pay the bond, and get 1% chase, chase cash back. <laughs> then do payments to the bank, uh, and that 1% cash back used towards paying back. Uh, <laughs> let me tell them what to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 74 with BBYQ being up in the air, how will you file your taxes? Um, I will likely still file for an extension just to let things give myself another six months to figure out what, what's going on before I do anything. Uh, hopefully stuff is resolved before then. That'd be wonderful. Um, but I'm probably just going to go clean and clack clack extension. Go from there. Come here. You going to yell at me? Is it because it's not pause cat adoption charity Tuesday? It's Humane Society Charity Tuesday. Is that why you're, is that why you're giving me, giving me guff there, fat guy? Huh? Huh? Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Right up here. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Chunky. Ugh. The monkey got to come up here for a while. How about the fat cat? Yeah, you want to meow into the thing? Huh? You want to have asthma breath in there? What's going on? Yeah. Cran Green. Cran Green donated. Oh, we are getting closer. Oh. Crayon Green. Crayon Green with 50 Canuck dollars. Well, thank you. That puts us at uh, 1178. We're still $322 away from uh, adding a second name to the drawing. That's okay. You know, it gives us more weeks or more months. We can we can do 50 cent wish giveaways. I do wonder what you guys are gonna get. What What is the gift that's gonna be drawn? I am super curious. I want to know so bad what is in all of those packages. Uh, some of them are tiny, some of them are huge. Who? What? What is in there? I want to know. I want to know, kitty. I want to know. Okay, I think my my voice and my nose and my mouth breathing is uh, I'm dying. <laughs> um, so, folks, uh, I will I guess check you out tomorrow. No, Friday. Well, tomorrow, Wednesday. Well, tomorrow's Wednesday. Let's see, oh, low B, low B really wants to get that second name in there. I think so. Low B. Adds it in there. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we're at 1278 right at the moment. So we're $222 away from, uh, yes. Uh, online entity, anyone else see, sorry, you can't donate in this country or region yet. So that's just, that's any problems. If you are watching this video later, you're welcome to donate anytime. If we push us over the 1500, I will uh, draw a second name. If you donate, after the show is over and I, you don't pop up in the chat as donating, send me like a screenshot of your receipt and I'll add you to the list for uh, those those drawings. And uh, yeah, the cat really wants to go out and Houston really needs to like, I don't know, flow naze it or something. Um, <clears throat> but thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I will do a show at some point tomorrow. I have no idea what time. Uh, but yeah, so... See you tomorrow. It's supposed to rain, so maybe I'll have a little more breath. Okay. Duh. How do I get out of here? I have to click one of these things. I should do the Charity Tuesday intro again. Da doink. Let's get started. Woo!
Ooh, and red lightsaber just got in there right at the end. Look at this fat guy. Look at this chunky guy. Look at him. Here's this little chunky dude. Here's a little chunky dude. Yes, you are. You're a little chunky, chunky, chunky cat. You seem actually pretty content sitting like this. That's interesting. That's something to learn.